I'm going to work problems number 11 and 12 on the same video because they're basically dealing with the same concept. They're special cases of linear systems. So let's go to the paper here. I'll meet you there in a minute. All right, question number 11. Here we go. We've got my graph grid right there for you to look at. Question number 11 asks us to draw a linear system whose solution set is the empty set. Now, what that means in English, a linear system, we're going to be dealing with two, in this case, graphs of two lines. And if the solution set is the empty set, that means the lines don't meet at all. Well, people, the only way you can think of two lines that don't cross is if you were to draw two lines that were like railroad tracks. They're parallel to each other. Okay? So, these lines are parallel lines. The solution set of this system would be the empty set. And that's what we were asked to do in question number 11. Anytime you graph two lines and they're parallel to each other, that linear system has the empty set as its solution. This is also sometimes referred to as inconsistent. This is an inconsistent system. And the reason it's called inconsistent Remember the definition of consistent. Consistent meant that you had at least one point of intersection. Well, inconsistent means you have no points of intersection. All right, let's look at question number 12. Let me darken, the, let me darken my axes back in here a little bit. Here we go. What question number 12 asks us to do is to draw a linear system whose solution set contains infinitely many points. Two lines that intersect infinitely many times. Well, people with lines, the only way that could possibly happen, if I took this line, which was in orange, and then I took another line, which is in this darker color, the only way I could make both of these lines meet infinitely many times is if I put one line right on top of the other. That's what a line, well, that's what a linear system would look like if it had infinitely many points of intersection. So the solution set here would be the set of all points on this line. Basically one line on top of the other line. This is a consistent system Remember, consistent means that you have at least one point of intersection. Well, this one has infinitely many points. And this is also sometimes called a dependent system. Dependent, infinitely many points of intersection. A real good way that I try to teach students to remember dependent. If you had a friend who was codependent and they were really codependent, they would never leave you alone. It would be like they're constantly there anytime you turn, right? I don't want to know them by name, but you know what I'm talking about. If two lines, if you have a linear system that's dependent, how much more you know, close could you get than having that one line on top of the other? So it's a good way to remember what a dependent system is. Thank you.